and the center wheel. The ratchet wheel is actually between the uh, center wheel and the barrel. So before fitting the plate, I'll just reassemble the crown, crown wheel and the uh, click work. So I'm uh, using D5 to lubricate here. Now when fitting the plate, uh, remember there's an extended pivot on the fourth wheel, and so that goes through first. And then we can position the plate for securing. Now when securing uh, the main plate here, um, because there's quite a few things going on, for example, uh, marrying the ratchet wheel up to the crown wheel, which is underneath, very difficult to see, making sure the pivots are all located, uh, also the um, uh, the uh, escape wheel uh, needs to be secured. So I'm just going to tack this down very, very loosely with a screw. And then I'll continue to um, fit the cock for the escape wheel. And um, before completely securing the, the plate, I want to make sure that the um, the keyless work is in place. And when fitting the escapement uh, escape wheel here. I'm really taking my time um, because it's very, very easy to snap the, the pivot on the escape wheel. And once I've located the pivot into the jewel hole, I'm just keeping a little bit of pressure on the uh, cock with my brass tweezers until I'm confident that I've screwed it down in place. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, refit the, um, the keyless work before I uh, finalize uh, securing the, uh, the plate. Let's start with the, uh, the sliding pinion and the winding pinion. I'm just lubricating this. And now I'll lubricate the, the winding stem.
course, I've been calling this a, a sliding pinion. Um, it's also commonly known um, as the clutch wheel. Unfortunately, quite a few watch parts have several different names, which can be a little bit confusing sometimes. And I'm just securing the setting lever there. Now I'm oiling the posts. Uh, for the intermediate wheels and the minute wheel there with uh, some D5. And the post for the yoke. And the notch in the sliding pinion. A little bit of grease where the um, setting lever interacts with the with the yoke this is another one of those parts with multiple names i call it a yoke but some people call it a return bar And I'll just grease where the uh, the yoke spring interacts with the yoke. So I can fit the intermediate wheels. and the minute wheel. And now that that's done, I can fit the setting lever spring. And when fitting the setting lever spring, it's not a good idea to tighten it fully. Uh, until you've located the, the spring onto the setting lever. And now I can secure the screws uh, with, the, with the correct amount of tightness. and a little bit of grease where it interacts with the setting lever and we're done. So now I'm just um, securing the, the plate and when screwing it down I constantly check to make sure that the train is still free. And in this particular case I'm also turning the, the winder to make sure that the ratchet wheel is engaged correctly with the crown wheel and the click work. And all that is done before completely tightening all the screws. And once you're confident, all the screws can then be tightened. So I'm oiling the center wheel and the barrel uh, with uh, D5 
and the rest of the train uh, with 9010. And I'm just uh, applying some grease before fitting the cannon pinion. And before driving the cannon pinion uh, fully home, I'm just making sure that the minute wheel teeth are lined up uh, with the cannon pinion uh, to prevent any damage when pushing the uh, pinion down. So I need to fit the uh, chronograph driving wheel back onto the fourth wheel pivot. It's important to do this before the pallet uh, fork is fitted um, because there is the potential of uh, chipping the, uh, the pallet stones. I'm using 9010 here to uh, oil the chronograph wheel pivot and the spring. I'm using 9010 on the cam. So now I'm oiling with uh, 9010 the um, the coupling yoke, and I'm just using a a blower to check the free running before refitting, and this is secured with a shouldered screw to allow it to pivot. Now for the operating lever there's uh, two posts which I've applied a little bit of grease and it's secured with these two screws. And a, a bit of grease where the operating lever connects with the connecting lever. I'll just oil the post uh, to fit the uh, the spring back in place, and a bit of uh, grease 